In this video of SOLIDWORKS Electrical, I will show you how to create 3D electrical components and how to add or modify a part manufacturer. Let's say you have this symbol of a Nixie tube, which you have created before. Go to Library, Manufacturer Parts Manager, search by filters, switch the class to Signaling Alarm, and you can see that these are not for Nixie tubes. So go to Add Part, type in the part name, type in the manufacturer, and fill out the following details. You can also sort the class by clicking on it. Once you have filled out all these details, click OK. Now if you search by manufacturer, you'll see that SOLIDWORKS is over there and you have an Nixie cube created. Close this. Right click on the symbol, click symbol properties, click on manufacturer part and circuits tab. Search for the part you just created. Add that and then click select. Click OK. Now let's say you want to modify this part. Click on Manufacturer Parts Manager. Search by Filters. And find the part we just made. Click on it, then click on Properties. Add circuits to this. Choose the type. And then type in the terminals. Separated by a comma. In this Nixie tube there will be 13 terminals. Starting with 0 and ending in 12. Switch over to SOLIDWORKS. Open the Nixie tube. Then go into Tools. Scroll down to Add-ins and pick SOLIDWORKS Electrical. Click OK. Go to the bottom view. Sketch a point where you want the connections to be. When you're done, click OK and exit the sketch. Then go to SOLIDWORKS Electrical, Electrical Component Wizard, and click on Define Left, Right, Top, and Bottom Faces. Click on the faces as shown to define it. Click OK, and then click Next. Click on the second option. This will define the first mate you have for this part when you import it into an assembly. Click on the bottom face. Click Next, then click on the second option. Select Manufacturer Part, and pick the manufacturer you added to the library. Click on it and then click Select. Now select the sketch point. Go to the bottom view. Pick the first sketch point and click on the first terminal. Then click OK. Now you can see that this icon has turned green. This means that you have successfully added that connection point. Repeat this for the other connection points. When you are done, click on the X for Cancel. 
then click on Finish. You have now successfully created a 3D electrical component. Previously I showed you how to create a connection point by reference for a wire. Now I will show you how to do this but for a cable instead. In the last step, pick Create Cable Connection Point instead of Create Connection Point by reference. Rotate the model around and click on the point. Then click OK and click on Finish. This should now read EW Cable. If you haven't already done so, make sure to go back to SOLIDWORKS Electrical, go to Manufacture Parts Manager, and find the Nixie Tube. Edit its properties by clicking on Properties, and then scroll down. You will see 3D Part, and next to it is the icon to browse for it. Browse for it and locate the Nixie Tube. Click Open, and then click OK, then Close. I hope you find this video helpful.